What are you grateful for? Stay tuned and I'll share seven benefits for grateful people. Welcome to the podcast where mental health is at the core of what we focus on. We strive to develop people like you to maximize who you are and what you've been called to do by sharing tools and resources for better brain health. And now here's your host, Juan Garcia. Hey everybody, it's Monday. It's Mindfulness Monday. And today I want to help us be mindful of gratitude, gratitude. There are so many uh, benefits for uh, a heart, a person, a mind that's grateful. There are so many things we can be grateful for. Obviously, you can say there are so many things that we can complain about. And if you're like me, yeah, there are times where I do complain. I do uh, go on a rant. Um, Just last night, I was uh, complaining to my wife about my day and I had this and I had that. But at the end of it, and she said she noticed that I was I was tired and I was uh, overwhelmed. But at the end of our conversation, because we were able to engage in things that we both are grateful for, she says, you know, your 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 whole complexion change, your whole countenance change. And it's because even though I was complaining, I realized how much I am uh, grateful for. And that just changed my attitude because gratitude changes and affects your attitude in a good way. So I wanted to share seven benefits that has been scientifically proven and researched for those of us that have a grateful heart, that are practicing gratitude as a a normative in our lives. Number one, the number one benefit uh, for a grateful person is that gratitude opens the door to more relationships. When you have a grateful heart, you are more prone to uh, connect and attract those people that you want in your life because you're positive, you have a, a, a good energy, you have you know this positive outlook of life and people are attracted to that. Number two, the second benefit for grateful people is that gratitude improves physical health. Obviously, when you are grateful, you take care of yourself, you want your, your body to uh, you know be healthy and so, that gratitude attitude pushes you to take care of yourself, to eat right, to do exercise uh, frequently, so forth and so on. Number three, gratitude improves psychological health. And this is something that I use in my practice where I offer people the opportunity to journal, to have a gratitude journal. And right away, those of those uh, individuals that do it, they see the effects of it immediately they tell me wow i I feel better mentally i have you know uh, i've been working with this fog and now it's kind of getting more clear because gratitude gives you a focus Uh, it's almost like you pinpoint those things that you're grateful for and so you don't have the energy to uh be negative and complain about those things that you probably don't even have control over so gratitude improves psychological health. The fourth thing is that gratitude enhances empathy and reduces aggression. There's a study out the University of Kentucky that proves this to be true where, excuse me, if you know, you normally are uh, in a bad mood or you're complaining about, you know, something and you're walking around in life like this, anyone that cuts you off, anyone that speaks to you a certain way, anyone that comes at you as we say, you are more likely to be aggressive with that circumstance than if you were grateful and you practice a life of gratitude. Why? Because when you're grateful, you're positive, you're happy. Not that you ignore realities in terms of people offending you and people hurting you. It's not that you ignore them, but you have a different approach, or at least it takes more to get your buttons pushed, so to speak. So Gratitude also affects our empathy and our capacity um, to lower how aggressive we can be in life. Number five, grateful people sleep better. This is so, so true. Last night, 
I was able to sleep a little better because I was sharing, even though I complained, but then I was sharing and we were both sharing how grateful uh, we are of life, of God, of, of, you know, the way God has blessed us. So it helps. It helps to um, kind of go to bed. You know what people do, and, and I recommend is that you write two to three things that you're grateful for right before going to bed, around 15 minutes before going to bed, and you meditate on those things. And it's amazing how your body relaxes and your mind gets to relax because a lot of people don't sleep because their minds are constantly going, 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 going. Grateful people sleep better. Number six, gratitude improves self-esteem. When you're happier, you feel better about yourself and you portray yourself with more confidence and assurance of who you are and that boosts up your self-esteem and you view yourself in light of how you feel, which is you're grateful. You're, you're grateful for life. You're grateful. You're happy. And people know it. And lastly, but certainly not least, gratitude increases mental strength. There's a study out. Um, it was published in 2006, Behavior Research and Therapy. Um, they found that Vietnam War veterans that showed gratitude were less likely to show symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. Now that's huge. We're talking about millions and millions of individuals, specifically post-Vietnam War, our veterans out there that served for our freedom, that suffer for PTSD. If they show uh, an attitude of gratitude, the likelihood of them suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder is lowered significantly. So. Gratitude is huge. So if you have things to complain about, go ahead. You can complain about them. You know, be mindful of how balanced your your complaints are, but also share a list of things that you are grateful for. This is the season where we reflect and we look back. And even though it's been a rough year all, all around, I mean, the whole world has been affected by uh, everything that we've been experiencing uh, obviously some more significantly than others, but we have all been affected to a certain degree. And so we all have negative, um, I guess, points of reflection when it comes to 2020, but we can also decide to be grateful. So for example, if you're watching or listening to this podcast, well, you're alive. You have life. Hopefully you have health. Hopefully you have family. You have something to be grateful for. And so it's up to you and it's up to me to decide if we're going to have an attitude of gratitude as we move forward and turn the page on another season of life. So be grateful. This is your Mindfulness Monday reminder of what it is to be grateful for what we have and the benefits that we can enjoy. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for tuning into our podcast. For more information, visit our website at juangarciaenterprises.com. Our host, Juan Garcia, is available for speaking, coaching, and one-on-one -on -one counseling. You can email us at info at juangarciaenterprises.com. Until next time, remember, we only have one mind, so mind yours.